Okay, so this is um, the plan view. I'm going to switch over to 3D. Now, what I want to be able to do, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what this is looking like. Um, at the moment, I've got yellow walls on the inside. I've got brick walls on the outside, and I've got the same um, finish on the floor surface. Now, at the moment, I'm in a, a view over here, which is called shaded. If I switch to one called realistic, I get a slight change. Now, what, what, what is showing me here is the fact that I've got um, red carpet on the floors and I've got yellow walls. I don't want that to happen. I want to be able to change these things. So for instance, um, if I want to change the flooring type, I want to be able to click and I want to be able to change that to a different surface type. In order to do that, I have to create the materials first. Now we'll get onto that in a moment, but let me show you how it works first of all. So I'm going to select, let me zoom out a little bit as well and see it a bit more. This red carpet I've got here, if I select it, and then I come over to my properties panel on the left here. And as I go down, I'll see there's one here that says material by origin, by original rather. And that one is often ticked. Now you need to take the tick off and you need to then select yourself. So I go into the material, click on the ellipses and it opens up a window for me. Now within the window, I've got some flooring that I've made myself. So if I want to switch from the red carpet to this one called tiger wood, I simply click on here and then say OK. And When I now deselect, you'll see that the floor type has changed. Now what I've managed to do on this particular um, piece is I've got different floor colorings of different f types for each of the rooms because realistically that might be what happens. So over here, if I want to change this red carpet over here to something else, maybe I want tile being as this a kitchen, I can do the same thing. I can choose by selecting, then I come down to where it says material in my properties panel. I don't want it to be flooring red carpet. I want to change it to something else. I've got one here, flooring ceramic tile. I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to click OK. And again, when I deselect, you'll see now that this has changed. If I zoom in on it, you'll see that that's the tile effect. And if I move across, you can see that this is the tiger wood I've put on there. Okay. Now, I can make these materials up myself, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. I'm just going to change one more just so you can see. So the bathroom, let's tilt the angle so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, we don't want the red carpet in there. We want to actually um, change this as well. So I'm going to select it. It's gone blue. I'm going to click on the material type, go to the ellipses there, get my menu up. And this time maybe we'll do something really bizarre. We'll give it a multicolored carpet in the toilet. Now I know that you wouldn't do that for real, but just for the sake of this, you can see how that works. And again, if I zoom in, you can see that this is actually carpet tiles. There you go, that have been put into that area. So um, that's the first thing. The second thing is the paint on the walls. Um, you'll notice in this in this drawing, basically um, I've got a brick effect on the outside, and on the inside I've got a yellow shade. Now, although this wall looks like it's a green kind of color, it's all to do with the angle. So if I actually change the angle so you can see it, um, as I spin it around, you'll see that that's actually yellow as well. So I've got the inside, the interior walls are yellow, and the outside is a, a red brick effect. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to decide um, not only to have different surfaces on the inside and the outside. So already you can see, probably you're not sure how I've managed to do that, but I want to be able to have separate colors so I don't want all the interior walls to be yellow I want some of them to be different colors so I'm going to show you how I can apply that and then again as with the with the floors I'm going to go back and show you how you create those materials in the first place so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to come up to my um, modify tab and I'm going to go over this one here and there's one called paint if I choose paint it opens up a window for me now I've already made some paints and I've funnily enough called them all paint so if I do a search by the phrase paint, you can see I've got some that I've created. I've got a yellow, a purple, and a blue. So they're ones I've made myself, and I'll show you in a little while how to do that. But for instance, if I want to have this blue color, I'm going to choose blue, and I'm going to click on the walls where I want blue to be. So I'm going to basically make the three three of the outside areas, sorry, it's three of the, uh, the in, inner walls here, that kind of color. So I've got those ones are blue now. Um, I can have the back of these ones as blue as well. But what I want to be able to do is I want to put some of the other walls, like this one here, maybe I want that to be a purple. So I'm going to choose my purple, come over and again, I'm going to click, 
and I'm going to click these walls that I want to be purple. So now, as I rotate around, I can see any walls that I've missed. I can choose between them being purple, being blue, whatever I want to do with them. Okay, there's still some originals that are yellow there. If I want to make those purple again, I can, simply by clicking on them. Now, in order to do that, I have to do a few things. I'm going to have to um, create a, a particular wall type that allows me Let's close that down now. A wall type that allows me to put that kind of effect on. Uh, and also I need to change uh, and create some materials to do that. So that's what we're going to do next. 